Hello, this is Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. In today's video, we are showing you how to transform this ceiling into this ceiling with acoustic treatment. We are building these two by six foot absorbers. They are four inches thick and they are mounted into the ceiling section of this really cool home studio. Stay tuned for all of the parts of this build, but this video is focusing on the ceiling. So we are starting with 5 8 inch plywood that I had Home Depot cut into four inch strips for me just to make it easier to handle and to assemble. So I'm cutting on my miter saw, I'm cutting two of the lengths to two feet and then two of the lengths to an inch and a quarter short of six feet so that my final dimensions of my frame is two feet by six feet. So I'm getting those all cut to size and just staged there uh, right behind the saw. Now I'm using my table saw to cut my bracing and I'm doing my braces at three inches wide. So I'm just cutting the remainder of the 5 8 inch plywood on my table saw to three inches wide. And then I can cut those braces to an inch and a quarter short of two feet because these braces will fit on the interior of the frame. So we subtract that inch and a quarter because that is the width of two 5 8 inch pieces of plywood. So I'm using a 16 gauge nailer to nail these together and I'm using two inch nails and I'm doing three or four nails per corner here. And I'm just making sure that I have a nice flat edge of that plywood for the fabric to rest on. And I can align it on the floor to make sure all my edges are nice and straight with each other. And now I'm just marking out all of my bracing points. So I'm doing braces at two feet from both sides and one right in the center. And I'm doing it at two feet so that the insulation is only four feet long. It has somewhere to rest on um, when I add the other piece of insulation. So that way no insulation is bulging down into the fabric. So there you can see the assembly of the frame and I'm just doing three nails at each point where I'm nailing these braces in. And here's a little close up shot. You can see I left myself about a quarter of an inch from the front face of the frame for those braces. And that is so that when we upholster this with the fabric that the wood bracing doesn't touch the fabric because we want that fabric face to be nice and flat and crisp. Here is the rear upholstery. I'm just using a just a standard muslin fabric for the rear side of the panel. Um, and I, now we're rolling out the front face of the fabric and we're using a kind of an off-white color canvas, uh, cotton canvas here for the front face of the panel. And here's the insulation that we're using. It is Rockwell Safe and Sound. It is two feet by four feet and it is three inches thick. And depending on where you are in the world, your acoustic insulation choices may vary. Uh, here in the Toronto, Canada area, this is the most available um, for this use. So that's what we are using here today. So I'm just cutting it to size the insulation and putting it into the frame here. You can see how that bracing allows somewhere for both sides of the pieces of insulation to rest on. So that way the insulation does not bulge down into the fabric um, and gives us a nice clean look once it's fully upholstered. And the braces also add that rigidity to make sure that the panel is nice and square and consistent. So now I'm just stapling on the rear fabric and I'm just stapling all around, making sure that I have enough staples to contain the insulation. And then I can use my scissors to go around and cut off the excess fabric. And once that's all done, then we are ready for the front uh, in, uh, fabric. So there you can see the panels already. They have the insulation inside, the rear upholstery completed. And now these are ready for the front facing upholstery. So I'm going to lay out the canvas on the table and I can place the panel down and I start with one edge and I tension across the long sides first. You can see I have Christian helping me out there uh, adding some tension on the fabric while we staple it on. And now I'm just folding over the short sides now and I'm just tucking the inside in so that way I can have that nice consistent flat fabric edge and making sure we use plenty of staples to adhere that down to the frame. And now I'm just using a uh, gorilla tape here uh, and this is just a little detail touch this is to make sure that there's no kind of flyaway pieces of fabric sometimes when you cut the fabric it can be kind of squiggly and you can see it when you're looking at the air gap of the panels once they're mounted so that little tape trick just adds a nice little detail touch so here is the client's studio this is a really cool DJ studio uh, detached from the house here really cool space Here's a little tour and just a little sneak peek of how it looks before we add the ceiling treatment. We are doing a lot of cool stuff for this build. We're doing acoustic panels, we're doing custom bass traps, we're doing a very large diffuser for the rear wall. 
Uh, so stay tuned for those videos coming up within the next few weeks. And I'm going to show you how we go about getting these ceiling panels mounted. So you can see how the client has, it's all wood clad on the inside. And that actually helps us out on the install because we don't have to use any drywall anchors. We can just screw directly into these plywood sheets. And you can see the pot lights that he has there. So we are going to be mounting these panels in between the pot lights and we're going to be following the angle of the ceiling there. So there you can see our six cloud panels on site now. And we ran out of tape um, when we were doing the upholstery. So we're just going to finish up some of these edges. You can see how that fabric kind of lifts up a little bit. We don't want that to be visible for the client. So we're just taping everything down. And once again, it's just a nice detail touch. Uh, it's not, this is just an aesthetic thing. It doesn't affect the acoustics in any way, but it's just a nice detail touch. Here are the hook screws or the eyelet screws that we are using to go into the panel. And I used nice and long ones because I want to make sure that I'm getting a lot of threading going into these panels uh, so that it's nice and secure and stable when it's inside the hardware. So I'm just drilling down at four inches in from both sides of the frame, making sure that I'm right in the center of that plywood while I drill and that I'm completely straight up and down perpendicular uh, to the wood frame to make sure I'm not poking out on either side. So now once those are all screwed in, we can go ahead and do our layout on the ceiling here. So we are centering these panels in between the pot lights and there is a little bit of variance between each of these sections of pot lights. So we're just making sure that we do all of our measurements first and then we are centering uh, left and right to the ceiling as well. There you can see the panel with all of the hooks installed and I set up my laser line and now I know that all of my upper mounting points can run along this laser line for that side of the ceiling. Uh, so that ended up being eight inches off the top center mark. Uh, and then since our panel is four inches off the, off the, uh, the mount, that will make our panels sit right in between that slanted roof section. Those are the eyelet hooks that are mounting right into this plywood here. So you can see I'm just screwing out on the laser line where they all need to be. And I'm getting that entire upper section done first before I match all of the measurements on the lower section. And we'll do the same thing where we line everything up with the laser. There are the quick links. There are one eighth inch quick links. They are locking. So once we have all of the hardware in, when we actually hang the cloud, we can thread those back up so that those clouds, even if you bump into them or anything like that, they will never fall down off the mounts. So you can see we're just getting the lower sections all mapped out as well. And I did the same thing. It's eight inches off the bottom. Um, since we have four inches from each side of our panel hardware, uh, that way the panel will actually sit with a four inch gap from the top and bottom and really fill out this ceiling section on both sides. So once we have that hardware put in, it's just as simple as putting the hooks inside those quick links, threading them closed. And with this size of panel, it's good to have another set of hands there to help out. And it's as, it's as easy as that and as simple as that. You can just line up the hooks with the quick link, uh, just simply put them in, thread it closed, and that is it. And these panels are nice and secure. And you can see that since we use that laser line uh, for both sides, we did all of our mounts on the exact same laser line. And we made sure we did all of our measurements twice before we did any drilling. Uh, you can see really how consistently these are mounted and how nice and straight everything looks. Uh, all of our gaps are consistent from the ceiling because we measured how far off the hardware on the panel was screwed. And these are the steps we have to take to really achieve that nice professional finish, make sure everything is nice and consistent. These are of course all paying clients, so we really take pride in our work here at Sound Headquarters. We wanna make sure that we leave every studio looking as great as it can, sounding as great as it can. Here is a little look at the finished ceiling treatment. Turned out very cool, you can see with those pot lights there, we are not obstructing any of the light. Adds a really cool touch and really improved the acoustics of this room greatly. Um, and this is just the first element. We're gonna be adding acoustic panels on the walls. We are adding custom bass traps with integrated lighting. That's gonna be a really cool step. And then the last step is gonna be a very large diffuser for the rear wall. This is a DJ rehearsal studio for this client. Very, very cool space. Really appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for so much more. We got lots of cool projects coming this year. This has been Daniel from soundheadquarters.com. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that great stuff. Really appreciate it. Peace out.